Welcome to Upper Room Studios. This is the Road Home Podcast. We're back with Jed. I'm over the weather. I was under the weather last week. Now think, I'm over it. You know, I thought when Micah said that, I thought, I think everybody's under the weather, technically. Yeah. He was way under. <laughs> I was way under. I was on the couch. I, <laughs> I didn't feel good at all. Yeah. There was a few of us Yeah, had, had those days the last few weeks, um, but we're glad that we're up on the men. Praise yeah. the Lord. Um, today's going to be a quickie, but uh, a goodie. We have a little discussion. We got into this uh, topic the other day about a familiar passage in the Old Testament concerning one of our favorite prophets. Uh, speaking of, is it Elisha? Elijah? Do you ever have that problem where you get those two mixed up? Yes. Yeah, I always okay. say both. Good. Elijah, Elijah. I don't know which one. It's say. Elijah. Yeah. I'm pretty J- sure. J A H. Yes, it's Mister Mister Elijah. Yeah. The you know fire from heaven, Jezebel hating that kind of that thing. That one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> but okay, there's a there's a story in the Bible, and before we read the scripture, I want to kind of tell what we're doing. Um, the story goes that Elijah is lying by the brook. He's been. Uh, in a famine, mm-hmm. there's been a famine in the whole land because there's, of there's a, been no rain, no rain because of a word that he actually gave. Right, uh, ravens fed him. He drank water from the brook. He's good until one day the brook dries up mm-hmm. and the ravens quit bringing food. So, no more uh, eat fresh, hello fresh. Uh, no more <laughs> meals. No more every plate. No more meals on wheels or wings <laughs> or whatever you got. <laughs> No more swan truck coming by the house. Yeah. No more no more of that. Raven man. Of swan man. <laughs> yeah. No more of that. It's all gone. Uh, and God says, I want you to go to a widow woman's house because she is your provision. I have commanded her to sustain you. So he goes to her house. Her and her hu- her son are going to starve. She says, uh, he says, can I have something to drink or something to eat? And uh he says, uh, no, we're not going to give you because I have just enough for one cake. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to eat it. She was out collecting sticks to make the fire. Make the last, the very last fire. Yeah. And uh, we're going to eat this and we're going to die, she says. Okay. Of course, there's a miracle takes place. Mm-hmm. And everybody knows the miracle. The miracle is that uh, he says, make me a, fa- make me a cake first. Uh, makes a cake. Eats it. Uh, she doesn't want to, but she does. Uh, He eats the cake, and then automatically, because God and his miraculous power was working, Mm -hmm. the meal barrel begins to give more meal, and the oil cruise begins to give more oil. Right. Okay. From that moment, our question was, and there's a little discussion, this will be the thing, how long does something like that last? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, Jed tells me that he has found, according to the scripture, and maybe I have forgotten it or overlooked it, which is possible how long this actually lasts. And it actually gives a time of how long this lasts. Now, right. we'll get into that. Now, just, the thing is, I'm in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, if God does something, well, it should last forever, right? Right, right. And I just found this like maybe 20 minutes before we started recording. So <laughs> this is crazy. I, this is going a whole completely different direction than I was expecting it. Yeah, so, hey. Um, so sometimes, like God, we ask God to do something and he does it and we expect it, all things to continue as they are, right. right? Things to stay the same. And actually, who knows? How long does it actually last? So read to me the the answer to my question that you've given this. So we were what we were talking about was it was it like today so over would be in Israel? Yeah, is there a meal barrel still producing somewhere in meal in and oil? At least, yeah. I gotta find it. Is it a continuous, perpetual? Uh, a meal barrel, just like somewhere today in the rubble of, of ancient Israel. Yeah. There's a there's a, a cruise. Yeah, a rock quarry somewhere. Yeah, somebody, right here it is. Uh-huh. For thus saith the Lord God of Israel, the barrel of meal shall not waste, neither shall the cruise of oil fail, until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. Until so, it rains. Right. So when it rains on the earth after the famine, that's when it'll quit produce. To me, that's the that, end it, of it. Yeah. Until it rains. Right. So, here's a question. <laughs> All right. First of all, we do know it does rain right. eventually because uh, there's this whole thing where... Next chapter says God yeah, will send rain. God will send rain. So there's there's a narrative there. He right. gives, uh, it is going to rain, uh, but God promised it. Now, uh, 
for some reason, I've heard it preached a certain way, and it's like, okay, some, you know, God just kept on making that barrel fit, give more right. meal and all that perpetual. But actually, this had a time, it had an expiration date on it. Right. But it did say that they ate for many days. So it was enough to keep yeah. them. And evidently, it was enough to keep Elijah, too, because God had commanded her to sustain him. Right. That's what it said. Right. So, like, how long does it last? Well, it lasts until. It's over until the expert. It takes as long as it takes for it to. It doesn't wear out. Right. It just the time ends on it. Here's a here's a lesson for us. Okay, and this is we can talk about this for a few minutes. How about something you've prayed for in your life? Mm-hmm. Uh, God has blessed you with a good job, a good church, mm-hmm. good relationships, friendships, uh, provisions, cars whatever in your life and you know you like oh things will always be this way <laughs> this is my life yeah and things will always be this way when in reality god blesses us in seasons and i don't i don't think that sometimes we, we miss the season that in this season this is what god has chosen to bless me with uh not saying that there are some things that's going to stay with you. You know, your family, you probably yeah. going to keep them forever. You know, you probably, more than likely, a lot of your relationships you're going to have yeah. for the rest of your life. And more than likely, if you're a good, stable Christian, you're going to stay in the same church for years and years. Right. But in reality, there are seasons in which God you chooses certain things to bless you. And they may or may not have an expiration date on them. Mm-hmm. How long will it last? Well, as long as it lasts. As long as God wants it to. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So for, as long as you need it. True. You know. It's the provision. As, okay, so with the widow woman, it was until it rained. Right. Because that's when the famine would end. Right. She didn't right. need an abundance after that. Right. Mm-hmm. She could go and get her own. She'd probably get sick of it after a while. Right. So here's, here's another thing. So mm-hmm. we're, in the Lord's Prayer, which we call it the Lord's Prayer. It's actually our prayer. Yeah. He says, give us this day our daily bread. Not tomorrow's bread. Right. Not next week's bread. Our daily bread today. And um, in the Old Testament, you read about manna, you know, in the wilderness, the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. And they um, are only commanded to gather enough for that day. For that day. Right. And on the Sabbath, if they they gathered enough for the Sabbath, you know. Mm -hmm. And if they got too much, it actually would spoil and worms would get to it. Mm -hmm. Okay. How long does it last? Well, it lasts as long as you need it. Right. The same goes for all this. Um, so what's, what's the point of this? Well, I'm just thinking this is a principle, principle thing. Okay. How long is your salvation going to last? As long as you need it. Yeah. And that's forever. <laughs> and that's, that's, yeah, that's forever. How long is your joy going to last? Mm. As, as, as long as you need it. And that's forever. Yeah. How long is your hope going to last? Well, as long as you need it. Mm hmm. Because there is a, there's, until it rains, there is a, until, until then, we are here on earth. There's, there's certain things that God is blessing us with right now. Oh, how long are you going to need, you know, this relationship? Uh, As long as you need it. As long as you need, as long as these things are something that God is using in your life Mm -hmm. to edify you, to bless you, to encourage you, and to correct you. As long as those things are a good, viable way that God is using it, he's going to keep on giving that. It's going to be like that woman's mirror barrel. Now, are there seasons on certain things? Not everything. On certain things. B- Billy, when, sometimes whenever, you know, relationships, they go sour. Mm-hmm. People are not blessing us like they should. Or, you know, it's not that we are self-serving. It's that, uh, you know, maybe we're going a different path. Right. Maybe we've grown past a certain uh, mindset Mm -hmm. or, you know, you don't always, when you're working in the, you know, you're working and you're eating off the dollar menu. Mm -hmm. Think about that for a minute. You're eating off the dollar menu. Well, you don't necessarily like, is there a dollar menu that even exists? No, not anymore. But you don't have to for the rest of your life. You're not condemned to eat on the dollar menu for the rest of your life. Right. Only until it rains. Only until at that time, okay. Oh, God provides more. Yes, an abundance more. See, sometimes, and I'm not talking about prosperity, even, but mm-hmm. maybe a little bit. Just get on a little bit. 
you know, it's not always God's intention that we eat way down on the tree. You know, we eat low hanging fruit and we eat, you know, or we get just a, a, a meager and beggarly elements or just a small. He said he wants us to prosper and be in health as our soul prospers. Mm-hmm. So if our soul's prospering, there's a, there's a, until it rains. There's a, there's a time period on that. There's a, there's a, a, a parameter, some kind of barrier on that. It says, hey, I'm going to bless you. You're going to prosper and be in health at a certain point in your life. You don't have to wait, you know, uh, on till somebody else get, comes to the point where you're supposed to be as I lead you. You know, it wasn't that miracle that God did for that widow woman. It was not for everybody in Israel. Right. It was for three people. Yeah. <laughs> widow woman, her son, and Elijah. Uh, yeah. And it helped them out. Yeah. Now, we don't know whatever God did for the Jesus talks about these stories in the New Testament. He says, there were many widows. Yeah. Many widows mm-hmm. in, this, in this time. Yet, God chose this woman mm-hmm. to use this story and, and bless her in this way. What about that? How many people get jealous whenever God is blessing your life? And it may be a temporary blessing like this. Or maybe you got a new car. Mm-hmm. I'm not talking about you, you know, something crazy. I'm just talking about a new car to you. <laughs> <laughs> or, or you got a new job. Or God's blessed you financially. Or he's blessed you spiritually. And, he, you know, you seem to be walking in a, di- a deeper depth, of, a greater faith. You know? And people, they might not be able to handle it. Well, I guess how long that's going to last in, until next season. Mm-hmm. Whatever you're going through right now, it's only going to last till next. Same goes for trouble. <laughs> Same goes for trouble. How long yeah. is it going to last? It's going to last for this season. This season. It'll not always be this way. Well, that's why they call it like valleys and mountaintops. Because yeah. it's just constant up and down, up and down, up and down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So think about before, while Elijah was eating from the ravens. Mm-hmm. Think about him sitting by the brook and he's he's getting hamburgers and hot dogs or whatever <laughs> from the ravens. They're bringing him meat and bread yeah. and he's drinking the brook and he's just having a good old time. Yeah. How many pies were stolen off of window? Yeah. Windowsill? I'm sure there was a lot that the, the ravens just stole food. Yeah. They were making food in their windows and oh, where'd it go? The birds took it away. Okay. That'd be a funny kid's cartoon. For sure. Uh, but actually, what was going on with that widow woman's house? Right. Every day she'd go to the mill barrel to make a cake for her son and herself. You say, we don't have much. And maybe I, she kept having food go missing. So yeah, maybe kept maybe it in. was from her house. Yeah. You know? But that didn't last forever. Right. Her reality changed the moment she obeyed the man of God. Mm-hmm. She said, uh, if I eat this last cake, me and my son, we're going to die. And that was truth. But that was only the provision for the moment. Mm-hmm. That only lasted until... She obeyed the word of God. Then God began to bring a perpetual blessing on her until it rained. Yeah. Now, what happened to her after that? We're not sure. Scripture doesn't tell us completely. But when it rained, the narrative changed. Mm-hmm. Billy? I was just looking here. I've, <laughs> I've been just trying to read here. So it, in the beginning of, of chapter 18, it says... It says, and it came to pass during many days that the word of the Lord came to Elijah in the third year, saying, go shew thyself under Ahab. Mm -hmm. So according to the Bible, it had not rained as a yet. So it was years. Yeah. But then it goes all the way down to um, down to when Elijah is at the altar of Baal Mm -hmm. and uh that that's the first time that we see water, but the but the he goes to uh, what is it? Car is it Carmel? Mm-hmm. And he goes up to there and he and he t- uh, let's see here and he, let's see here. Do, 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 do. I'll go to it real quick. Hang on. Doodly, doodly, doo. doodly, doodly, doodly. And and Elijah said unto Ahab, Get thee up, eat and drink, mm-hmm. for there is a sound of abundance of rain. Yeah. So I think that's that was the. So God provided for Elijah mm-hmm. food Lord. and drink yep. mm-hmm. all the way through the the, the bad the time. biggest yes. battle that yeah. he's had the longest with, valley with uh 
the altars, you know, destroying the altars of Baal, and and uh, and, and after that, after he provided that barrel, the the boy got sick, or yeah, was yeah, it the yeah. woman got sick? But anyways, I'm just saying, God provided for him different widow, different widow. Okay, yeah. mm. so well, okay. her son gets sick too. Yeah, oh, that's right. The yeah, one that he stretches out on, which I didn't realize that till oh, yes. earlier when I was reading this. So, okay, so yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. saying is, is that it doesn't mention rain until Several he says <laughs> until until then. And so he, God provided him food and drink through the battles, yeah. right? And and I see, I, I don't guess I've ever thought about that. That no matter what he was dealing with, Ahab and Jezebel mm-hmm. and all this stuff, he had a place to go eat at night. Yes, yeah. he had a place to go get him a good hot meal. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, you know, because it when you when you don't have food, yeah, it takes away from your brain yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. that, that you're not able to it takes the nutrients from your mind that you get you, more hungry when you don't have food like you know a thing about that billy yeah like if you're <laughs> fasting for the for the morning or something yeah, like yeah, yeah it's yeah. it's harder to not eat when you know you don't have food yeah you know? right so so in this time of of uh famine mm-hmm. god provided for elijah to to battle some battles out right and then and then it rained until it rained and i hear the sound of the abundance of rain so like all this was going on this chaos was going on but god provided for him Mm -hmm. through this widow woman's miracle yes for her as well we we talk about that but it was a provision not just for her and her son but for him as well yeah through his whole battle he was going through until it rained the moment he come down off that mountain and outran ahab's chariot yeah in the rain I think that's a picture. That's an action movie, you know, yeah. right there. Yeah. This is like how God works. Okay, she goes to the mill barrel. Oh, I noticed it's not as full as it once was. Therefore, God must be getting ready to do something new. Yeah. yeah. So here is your sign, okay? I think this is the message. The main message is, if it seems like the resources in your life are not feeding you, are not blessing you, like maybe you have been blessed by them before, don't be discouraged by that. That's a sign. Mm-hmm. God is getting ready to change your provision. Yeah. Same you, goes for uh, Elijah. Yeah. Do you think she got scared or rejoiced when that meal barrel started to get a little bit less and less in it? Because well, she knew. <laughs> Knowing my flesh, <laughs> I'd be like, oh, no. Yeah. God's yeah. failed like, me. Okay. Why? Where is it I, at? I'd start yeah. looking to the sky. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to rain. The moment the miracle has ended. Yeah. <laughs> Think of Elijah had already lived this. His brook had dried up. Mm. The ravens quit bringing him his miracle. Uh-huh. Yeah, he'd already lived through this. His provision changed. Yeah. So when he got to the widow woman's house, she became his provision. But from that moment, then till it rained, then her provision was getting ready to change. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe the problems we're going through right now, maybe okay. Oh, you know, it doesn't seem like I'm getting the same out of this same. Bible study I'm doing all the time. Or it doesn't seem like I'm getting the same out of my prayer life. Oh, just hang on. Because what God has blessed you with in times past, he's getting ready to take it up to the next notch. Mm -hmm. That what you've been getting out of the little barrel, you're getting ready to get out of the fields. Yeah. Yeah. You're getting ready to go out into harvest. You're getting ready to get some some true fruit. Not just this is not just K rations or some kind of a you know MREs trying to keep you alive until the rain until the rain comes. Your provision may be changing. Now, that doesn't mean God changes. That means the season's changing. The time's changing. Mm -hmm. And I see that. I can see that. And you got to think, too, it it did more than just feed them. Mm -hmm. She probably was able to sell that stuff, use the oil for different things around the house. And uh, it it did multiple things and just make a cake. Well, like the other widow woman. Right. uh, Who has the oil... uh, it says go borrow the oil, yeah. borrow vessels, Three vessels, yeah, and they fill the, the as, you know the story that fills with oil, mm-hmm. and they uh, as many vessels as there were, the oil would fill up. Same go, there are all these miracles with these widow women. Praise right. God for the widow, widow women, but they had a lot of miracles in this day. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, think about that. Same goes for that, and she used that to sell and you know get herself right. out of debt. Right. Uh, what about that? So. Whatever we're going through, God has ideas, God has provisions, God has plans, God has prosperity. Mm-hmm. And I'm not talking about you going and buying the biggest car or building the biggest house or being a millionaire or quadrillionaire. I'm talking about you have God's will for you is to be prosperous and in health. Yeah. 
And so what it seems like, oh, this is this is not serving me in my health. This is not serving me in my life. This is not doing this in my life. I'm not getting out of whatever. Oh, <laughs> this the, the shows uh, our time is almost up. But yeah. uh, this show may not be uh, giving you everything you need right now. But the truth is, we have we're on limited storage space. Yeah. for this moment. But in time. <laughs> hey, we're running out. Right. <laughs> we're running out of time. We're running out of space right now. You know, uh, our miracles running out here, but there's provision. Right. We'll have more next time. <laughs> God's got, God's going to switch our provision. Uh, so yeah. So but, if God could provide us with a camera with unlimited storage, that would be awesome. Yeah. yeah. So in the midst of all of this, uh, Obadiah was uh, feeding the prophets mm-hmm. bread and water. Yeah. So I I don't know how all this you know we yeah. might have to go into deep deep depth deeps. of this yeah. you know but it, but it did the the meal barrow did not stop until the rain came yeah and the rain didn't come until after uh the uh, Elijah called down fire right and uh, the whole the whole battle yeah, had to be that, fought yes yeah so you think about things that's going on in the world right now whatever it may be you know we've been through a lot of things the last four or five years COVID. Many different things. You think about the the seasons we've been through. Uh, it seems like right now the seasons are getting ready to change. Yeah, feels like in the air the spiritual atmosphere is the season is getting ready to change. The provisions, uh, things are diminishing in one arena. And things are getting mm-hmm. ready to turn on in another. Mm-hmm. So we praise God for it. And it's before we go, cool. I want to share. We've had a experience similar to this a few years back. Yeah, we did. When uh, we had a was a revival going on. It was some kind of meeting. And yeah, we ordered. Uh, what was it? Enough barbecue. It was barbecue, for, yeah. Was it for fifty people or a hundred? It was not a hundred. But the amount we ordered, was it like for fifty or twenty five? Ah, fifty, I, I can't remember exactly. Whatever numbers. it was, yeah. the amount we ordered, there was way more people than that showed up. It was kind of scary. Yeah. And we didn't know what we were gonna do and we thought we were gonna run out and by the end of the night there was still left over. Yeah. And there was enough for to feed everyone the next night. Yeah. Yeah. And so Plus. Us, yeah. God's done little stuff like that before for us. And yeah, it's, it was like incredible. God will God will make it you, what you have yeah. go a long way. So like the fishes and the loaves, yeah. He'll take and as long as that's needed. How many times did it multiply? Right till it rained. Till it was ne- till it wasn't necessary anymore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's well, that's all we're saying, and that's all this little message conversation deal here. It's just to tell you that you know God wants to bless you. God will provide. He will provide. He's Jehovah Jireh. Yeah. And you don't have to worry about tomorrow because tomorrow will take care of itself because God's in tomorrow and he's already been there. And with all that being said, we love you and we'll see you further down the road. Thanks for tuning in. You can listen to us on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify. If you'd like to watch us, you can find us on the road home on YouTube. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Uh, You can check us out on Instagram at the road home underscore podcast. If you'd like to email us, you can email us at the road home podcast at yahoo.com. Thank you.